So hi guys, it's Shannon from Yanomai's and today, yes, I'm in a suit. There's a special reason for that. I'm not going to court, I'm not going to a funeral. I'm actually here to see a car. I'm at Lamborghini London and I'm actually gonna go inside and show you the first time this car's ever been in the UK. There's four of these ever made. One's in Asia, one's in Europe, one's in America and there's one inside there. Let's go and have a look. So what car is it? It's a Lamborghini Veneno. Book price on this car, 3.6 million. So it's a 6.5 litre V12 pushing out 750 brake horsepower, the same as the SV. So this car does 0 to 62 in 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 221 miles per hour. It literally is a spaceship. So the Lamborghini Veneno was launched in 2013 at the Geneva Motor Show. It was part of the anniversary celebrations. So I'm inside the vehicle. Um, obviously I've owned a couple of Lamborghini Aventadors in the past. Sitting in it, the seats are from the Aventador, nothing's real different. The steering wheel's the same. Something that I've noticed are these three buttons. So the red button, engine pit lane speed limiter. The white button, engine cooling function. And the green button, engine mount function. The push button at the back is actually the kill switch. It turns off everything to do with the vehicle. God forbid you have an accident and you need to make sure it's all turned off. That's what you push. So this car's got carbon fiber everywhere, including loads of Alcantara with red stitching. One thing that sets this car off for any other vehicle on the road is how it looks. The front and rear end, listen, let's be honest, it does look like a spaceship. You see this coming down the road, you expect it to take off and go right up there. I'm gonna bring out a gentleman called Rue, who's the brand director of Lamborghini. If you look here, this is when I actually purchased my Lamborghini Aventador from in 2013. So I'm here with Rue, Rue first of all, Thank you so much, man. Oh, I really appreciate it. Time. He invited me down um, to obviously get an exclusive on this car, get up close and personal with the vehicle. Rui, tell me, why is it here? So, we obviously phoned the factory. We have a special event this week. Um, we asked the factory for a car to display. They offered us the Centenario, which unfortunately has been stuck at another venue. So they sent a replacement, which I don't think is a bad replacement. That is not bad to be fair, is it? So there's four of these in the world? Four in the world. Um, one car obviously is currently here. There's a car in the US, a car in Asia, and there's a European client. So there's three client cars, one Lamborghini car. 
So this turned up yesterday. Mm -hmm. I've seen some pictures. If you have a look here, 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 you can see when it turned up. How was it outside? Actually quite calm from our side. Really? Yeah, it was actually quite calm. We had Alan, who's our Mr. Cool, driving the car in. How mm. nervous was he? I know you said he's Mr. Cool, but there was hundreds of people here and he's got to drive it into a little gap. Well, he, little... he's telling us he wasn't nervous, so I'll take that. <laughs> Did the front scrape? I remember on the Sesto that um, the front scraped everywhere. No, because the overhang on this is quite long. The car doesn't have lift either. Yeah. The overhang's quite long, so it comes off the curb quite easily. Okay. Doesn't have lift, no. doesn't have a stereo. No, don't need that. It's only 3.6 million. Stereo's in the back. Stereo's in the back. True, a lot of people say that. When you have these sort of cars, the engine, that's all you need to hear, the engine and the exhaust. So as we said, it's 3.6 million mm -hmm. on the book. What do you think it's worth now? So we had a phone call from one of my clients yesterday. Last night I took a call um, and I was offered five and a half million sterling for it. Really? Are you going to sell it? No, nope, spoke to the factory today, it's not for sale. It's not for sale? That for no be. price? No price. 10 million? Maybe. <laughs> I haven't got 10 million by the way. <laughs> I'm here, you only get one opportunity. I've asked to drive the car. Is he gonna let me drive it? Let's see. The only person outside of a Lamborghini employee to move this car. Okay, not myself driven it, however, I've pulled it out, I've stuck it on the road. I better put it back in, it's 3.6 million. So I'm the only person outside of the Lamborghini network to have driven this car in the UK. I don't care, I drove it. Whether it be one millimeter, one mile, one centimeter, I drove it. So that's the end of this video. Um, it's been an amazing experience for me. I don't usually shoot these uh, sort of style videos. However, I've enjoyed it. That is why I've dressed up. I want to say a massive thank you to Roo, Lamborghini and HR Owen. From myself, I'll see you soon. A special thanks to Andrew at Galaxy 89 Cars for allowing me to have the footage when it came off the truck and actually going into Lamborghini London. So thanks Andrew, Galaxy 89 Cars, I appreciate it.